Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market, and I've got a Market Watch video for you guys today. It's pretty late, and it's gonna be pre-rewards. Uh, it's going up a little bit later, obviously, than normal, and I'm actually recording this bit of the video before I stream, and then I'm gonna record another part after I stream, so you guys will get kind of like a two-part Market Watch today. It's gonna be pretty cool, but I, what I wanted to do is record this part of the video so you guys can see some cards that I'm selling right now, trading, and, and doing some things with. Today, I actually did hop on the market, guys. I was not on the market all day yesterday because of how low I felt it was going. But now today, I did go onto the market. I bought some cards uh, and I made some profit today. Now, I haven't sold everything, obviously, but we're working on selling. We bought a Messi at 1.3. We sold them at 1.447. Um, that's pretty good. I was happy with that. We got a Koulibaly at 180. We sold at 205. Two Eurises, we sold at 137. We bought these at 120, which I like. Um, Zayach, we bought at 110, sold at 122. Sterling bought at 210, sold at 237. Two Alibas bought at 220, 210, sold at 240. Van Dyke sold at 399. We bought him at 360. Um, and then we got um, a 247 Alaba sale. Uh, Alex Arnold, we've got a 471 sale at a 440 buy. And then we've got some lower budget stuff here, which we bought these Fabinos at 145. We've got a Neres at 37. Right, so we sold some stuff already. We're doing pretty well. And then we've got a bunch of other cards today that I just decided to go ahead and pick up. I'm currently trying to flip these right now. Some Griezmann's at a crazy price. Uh, I made a little bit of an investment, guys. Uh, I'll show you guys right now before we get into anything crazy. Um, I will show you. I will show you guys some buys that we've just made a little while ago that are not actually going that well. We so we did get a Suarez, guys. Um, we did get a Suarez. Now stuff is some stuff right now is really seeing the pre rewards drop off, right? Suarez this morning was like 470, so I bought one at 438. But I may lose coins on this, and I'm warning anybody on Xbox right now that's watching this video. If you're on Xbox. You really risk, um, you do, you guys really do risk, um, really potentially not. I, I just would not buy cards. If I was on Xbox, guys, I would, I'm warning you guys to not buy cards because it seems like your market is really struggling. Um, from what I can see on Xbox right now, that market is really, really, really not doing well. So I, I would just be careful and I'm advising kind of against that whole thing. Um, if you are on Xbox, it just seems like trading right now isn't hot. I do still think you guys could pick up some cards for rewards. So a move that I made this morning that I wanted to showkase with you guys is I bought a Sandro. Uh, I bought a Sandro 88. I bought a bunch of these for like uh, 180K. And he's back up to 200, which is really, really nice. So we're going to make some pretty good profit on him. That was way too low. Um, so we'll list it like 207. He's about 200 right now and his new card's about 400. So what you guys can learn from that is always buy cards that get panic sold uh, a ton in the morning because they'll always at least be a little bit uh, of a rebound because the new card is expensive and not everybody can ever afford the new card. And that's, that's a lot of the time how I do some trading and it's a very good way to make coins. And then Kingsley Coleman, guys, I decided to pick up uh, about 10 of him. Let me do a little quick count for you guys. I got three uh, four, five, six, seven. I've got one in the club, which is eight. We've got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we've got uh, 13 Comans, which we bought all of these at an average price of about 65 to 70,000 coins, which is really, really, really good. Um, that's a really good pickup. And so I did a little bit of late, like late night, last minute investing from last team of the week because it was just going stupidly low. Um, and I also bought some Yaki Williams at about 70 and he's about 74. So that one is looking pretty good as well. So I'm very happy to see a little bit of a rise so far uh, in that as an investment. And check this Messi deal out. All right, boys. 1274, we picked up Messi. Look at this. Now, you know what's funny about this, guys, is that it's really funny, actually. So I... <laughs> This is crazy, right? Because, oh, wow, 1390 he's right now. That's so low. So Messi's dying today. Like, I don't know what's going on with Messi. This one specifically is down like 200K in the last hour. So I got one a bit at 1274, which is really, really, really low. Um, and so that one just sold at 1400. So that's always a good sign. When you see a sale, like with a card like that, it's always just a really good sign, guys, that that something along that level is selling. And then other than that, guys, we made a few investments where we put a Pedro in the club for 24. That was a man of the match. I think these cards are officially out of packs now. We've got a Forest that we bought at 30. And this is, honestly, this is a really good card. I do want to try him out. We've got a Coutinho we bought late last night at 97. Thinking maybe we could get like 100 or something for that. You know, nothing crazy. I have another 97 Messi in the club, which I paid like 1344. We've got another Suarez. And then we, we, we honestly, guys, I decided today, like I just decided to buy some cards. And I don't even like buying these tier of cards right now. I feel like it's not a, a not really that good of a buy. But check out this price I got Lewandowski for, man. Right? Like, how can I not buy that? Right? 348. Right? And he sells, he's usually 430. So that's this market right now. You have to get the most insane deals on the hour for that bounce back. You can't just buy because a card is low. It has to be 
extremely low. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm waiting till these cards are going to the absolute, like, freaking rock bottom, and then I'm buying the cards. Now, I tried to buy an Mbappe today, guys, uh, for the investment method of potentially him not being really expensive. And I think his new card is really expensive. I think if we go on flipping right now, and we were to take a look at his new card, I think Mbappe's new card is probably, like... I, yeah, I mean, it's it's 15, it's, it's 1.5, so it's at max price. So this should be a little bit higher than it currently is. Um, I will wait for rewards for this one because I do think this will go up at rewards tomorrow. Um, another thing which I will talk about in a little bit more of a different segment on my video uh, is Van Dyke. Van Dyke won Player of the Year today. I don't know if you guys know that, but um, that is potentially anywhere from tomorrow to whenever. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but it could be tomorrow. It could be in a week, you know? So then we've got Mbappe, which we bought at 545. He's about 570. And then, dude, for some reason, guys, I saw Fabinho live today, right? And he was down more than I could even explain to you guys. Um, he's still 475, but he decided to really tank today, and I cleaned up a bunch because I want to I wanna try to make some coins on him uh, for the games next week. I want to try to hold that until Champions League and try to make some coins on him next week. So that's my plan with him. I think a lot of people were asking me, Nick, what are you doing with that card? That That's my plan with that card. So I, I'm, I'm seeing if we could do that. That would be really cool to do. And I, I'd, I'd enjoy trying to make coins uh, on a card like that. I think that would be fun. So that's where we're at. And then you guys can see I have this little on a sign list, right? And so that's what's going on here. We've got all these cards here, which would, these were some of the lingering cards today that I had bought uh, and picked up, guys. So yeah, that's going to be the first part of this video today, guys. I've got to, I'm going to be right back at you guys in like just a minute. You guys won't even know that I'm gone. As we came from where we left off though, guys, um, what I started to do the last few hours is I've kind of just decided that some cards are a little too low. So I started to buy some cards. Um, in terms of like flipping and success with flipping, I haven't had too much. Um, I've sold probably like 10 cards in the last three hours that were like the cheapest on the market. So a lot of that stuff is not selling. And yeah, so what I'm thinking tomorrow, guys, is that we're going to see a resurgence within the market with the, the budget of like 50 to 300,000 coins. So that's kind of where I'm thinking that everyone's going to kind of budget by tomorrow. So um, I chose to put in some coins before four rewards, but I don't know if I'm going to go full on broke. Um, just as kind of more of a heads up to you guys. Uh, watching this video today wondering what I'm doing for tomorrow But yeah, I think with the combination of foot champions and rivals rewards um, Tomorrow you will see a rise in the market I think a lot of people may go for like the meta gold department, which would be like Ramos, Conte, Pogba um, And then I think they might be going for like players like Donnarumma in form Chesney in form kind of cheaper City A teams lower tier in forms I think you're gonna continue to see every single day uh, until team of the season the top tier market continue to die off I think today and yesterday we had this kind of adjustment on the market of, of the market almost adjusting to this fake inflation. Um, so now that it's adjusting, you're able to start manipulating trends and getting in and out of cards, making some coins, and there's some profit potential now when you guys are on the market. I think that's what's going to go on. So I think tomorrow we will see an uptick in the market. I will give you guys examples of cards that I'm expecting that to happen with. Um, probably a card like Hantanovic, Rakitic, Right, like these kinds of cards, maybe Quagliarella. What I've been doing is just focusing on getting big undercuts. Like last hour, this card was like, uh, you know, this card was like 70,000 coins last hour, right? And he's usually 75, but because the market is low, he's, se he's 70. And so I was able to grab a 60K undercut. So hopefully my plan would be that with the boost of rewards tomorrow, right? I would hope that maybe we would get like a push up on this card of like 5,000 coins. So then it becomes 75K. And so then I'm looking at a nice little profit, right? Of, of making maybe five, 10,000 coins a card. Something like that is kind of what I would be looking for uh, out of that tomorrow. So that's kind of what I'm pre-gaming and looking for uh, for tomorrow. Now there's some other cards that I took a risk on that maybe aren't the best buys. I bought a Carnival Jesus for like 349. We'll see how that does. That may not be the best. Right now it's kind of becoming the dead hour of the market. Seems like a lot of people are not buying cards right now. Um, but I do think some people will buy back cards tomorrow. I think that will, you will see the buyback effect happen. It's just what extent does it happen to? Is it is it is it a hard hitting? Do people go all out? Do people go buy teams again? Or is it a little bit of a slower, you know, slower process of what's going on? Now, something that I want to talk about with you guys today um, is what you guys should focus on tomorrow with the rewards. Now, team of the knockout stage cards, guys, are going to be out of packs on Friday, and I do think some of them are going to go up. I think tomorrow, Zayic, Vertonghen, Yoris, PK, Willian, um, Kalisinak. And those would be my favorites tomorrow. I think they're going to get a mass supply during weekend league rewards. So while people are buying teams for weekend league, I think you're going to see those specific cards actually get oversupplied tomorrow and go down a lot. I would buy those cards tomorrow. I think that those cards are going to be very good buys and pickups 
during uh, Weekend League Rewards. And I think you will start to see them rise into the weekend. And then once they go out of packs on Friday, I think Friday night will be a good time to sell because you'll get the card rarity that they just went out of packs and they'll get the boost. But you don't want to hold long-term. You want to make sure that you're not holding long-term because obviously as we move into Team of the Season and as we look into that area of, of time, the whole investing thing isn't really going to be the hottest thing going forward. So I think that that's what you're going to want to focus on if you guys have cards like that. So that's kind of where I'm at, guys, in terms of the market. And in terms of what I'm expecting for tomorrow, um, we will see. We could wake up tomorrow and the market's dying and it's dead low. I haven't really seen that on a rewards day this year. So I'm not convinced that that is going to happen. So that's where my thoughts are, guys, with the market. If you guys enjoyed the video today, man, just drop a thumbs up. Uh, let me know. And thank you guys for supporting all the content on the channel recently, man. I wanted to get a quick little video up for you guys because I did not have a main channel upload today. Um, so, yeah, here you go, guys. And uh, appreciate everybody con continuing to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace.